His top American rival, Dave Lout. Lout figures to challenge fire in this competition for the gold medal. Lout has also thrown over 72 feet. Call here on NBC a month ago, you saw that classic battle, Dave Loud of the United States, Udo Beyer, who set a world record for East Germany. Let's go back to the stadium now, and Ahmad Rashad. Early in the qualifying round, the American Dave Lout showed he is indeed prepared for this competition, as on his first throw, he got off a foot of 69 feet 2 inches to lead all throwers into the final round. This is the world record holder, Udo Beyer. He's also the favorite in this competition. This was his first throw at 66 feet 7 inches, and he eased into the final. This man relies on brute strength, and as you can see, he's a very strong man. Another American, Mike Lehman, who this year became the 10th American in history to throw over 70 feet, put a lot of pressure on his throw. This was his last throw, his last qualifying throw, to get into the final. He got off a good throw, 65 feet, 2 and 3 quarter inches, to move into the final round. Mike Lehman is sometimes called the samurai shot putter, and you can see why. So, we have eight countries represented here in the final, and unfortunately for Kevin Akins, only 12 go to the final. He was unlucky number 13. So, once again, it's the showdown between Udo Bayer of East Germany and Dave Lout of America. But in a world championship like this, with the adrenaline flowing, do not count Mike Lehman out. Anything could happen. So now let's go to Dick Edinburgh and learn about the tradition of the... Well, are warming up for the shot put finals. So let's go back to Charlie Jones, a look at the best ever by a shot putter in the world. The world record in the men's shot put is 72 feet 10 and 3 quarter inches. It is held by Udo Bayer of East Germany. He set the record in the Los Angeles Coliseum. Bayer won the gold medal in the Montreal Games in 1976. He has dominated the event since then. The world record came on an injured ankle. Now to Ahmad Rashad. Very nice. This is the final of the men's shot put. It's the first of three finals today. And Dwight Dave Lout looked good in qualifying this morning with the best throw of 69 feet to him. Yes, he did. He looked very good this morning, very smooth. That uh, throw is going to be somewhere around 67 feet. 67 feet, 7 inches. It's not bad first throw, but he's going to have to do a lot better than that to be in contention in this meet. He's ready for this meet. Do you know, it's a well-known fact that the Finns love the track and field, but they also love their saunas. To jump, and Willie Banks is America's top hope. Let's go to Dwight Stones and Ahmad Rashad. Speaking of interesting, Willie Banks is a very interesting round five. Ed Sirol of Poland is currently in the lead with a throw of 69 feet, one half inch. Stepping in the ring now is Ulf Timmerman. 20-year-old Ulf, 20 Ulf Timmerman in May became one of the first or the youngest 70-footers. He's the DDR indoor champ, and he really unleashes one here. 69, five and a quarter. That's going to take the lead away from Sirola Poland. And it also now puts Dave Lout at fourth place. You know, we had a chance to spend some time with Dave Lout and found out he has some interesting training techniques. but pretty much the throws in general is, is a big factor. It is a, it's a considerable factor in our training, but it also can hamper a thrower. It can tighten a thrower up. It can uh, destroy the feelings that are necessary to throw and implement a far distance, especially a shot put that only weighs 16 pounds. Uh, I think there's other factors like speed coordination, timing that are probably at, at this time of the year of our competitive season that are much more important than just uh, strength. We do a lot of strides, uh, which is like a halfway sprint. Uh, the body thrives on a, on a nice steady tempo. And um, also we do a lot of jumping, bounding, uh, things like that, that uh, help the ballistics, uh, get the legs sharp, snappy feeling. Um, things that closely relate our event, but aren't actually doing the event uh, are be very beneficial. But what does the combination of lightning quick agility and awesome brute strength yield? I'm getting 
very close to world record. Um, that's that's beginning to be a very big realistic possibility for me. Um, I can almost taste it now. Um, I'd be foolish not to think about it. I'd be foolish not to think about throwing even further than that because uh, if you put limitations on yourself like that, you'll never reach it. Today. He's having a lot of problems with his technique. This is his final throw. He's going. He's currently standing fourth. He's got to pop one here to get into the medals. That's not going to get it. And the other guy that had problem, problems with Udo Beyer, the world record holder. He injured himself, and he's out of the competition. So Dave's out of the medals. Back to you, Charlie. Qualifications here at Helsinki. Dave Loud, Udo Beyer in a battle. We are down to the final stages of the men's shot put, and we built it up between a showdown between Udo Beyer and Dave Lout, but we've had some big surprises tonight. It's roll, Poland, absolutely goes out of his mind, 60, 70 feet, two and a quarter inches on his last throw to win the competition. A total surprise. Anything can happen in a world championship like this. The adrenaline starts to flow, starts to flow, and anything, I mean, it brings out the best in athletes. And Ed Thoreau is the winner, followed by Terman of East Germany, followed by McCourt. Well, Mayfarth 